Good morning, everyone. Uh, I hope uh, it's very exciting. You are you all been hearing about AI, uh, deeper sessions, and uh, today I would like to just take you through some of the you know daily hurdles that we all, as designers, as product owners, we encounter on a daily basis. You know, so the topic is about uh, design depth, and uh, I know most of you know about it. It was coined by. Ward Cunningham is an agile practitioner, uh, and it was initially, you know, coined around technical depth, and people borrowed it for design as well. So it's good that our last session ended with a case study on depth-related issues. You know, so this is again connected with depth, and uh, you, you, we'll, we'll all love quick results, and quick results feel make you feel accomplished, right? So same way. In, in projects, we are all living in a very constrained world. So there also we love to get some quick results. There are always pressure from all the sides in terms of uh, time, uh, cost, and scope, everything. You know, you, have, you all, always, it's on, under full pressure. So you, you skip many things, and uh, what happens is uh, you, you started forgetting about long-term consequences. Just like we take debt and start a business without proper thought, uh, you'll end up in deep trouble, right? So same thing happens in design and technical world as well. So what design debt is? So design debt is all about accumulated imperfections because we skip some of the initial design decisions that we have taken, right? So. It happens, you have actually wonderful design in first place and then you, uh, as you progress in the product, you skip many things, you miss many things, and then that accumulated over a period of time and it, it becomes a very costly affair later to fix those. So that, that's, that's the design depth. So how, how it will impact your product? So it will start creeping in slowly you will start a slow decline in, in your product matrices, like you know, new people onboarding, the conversion rate. You, know, you will start seeing people editing your product quickly, uninstalling the app. As it progresses, these things get noticeable. And it will start, uh, as you just ignore these design issues, this will start compounding. And, and your product's trust is actually getting affected. And then you, they will people will start that you are unprofessional, you know. So all, all this thing, the other bad thing is, you know, some people will start doing work around, around bad design things that you have taken. And they get used to it. When you fix it with a good design principle, they get you so used to it, they will feel it's very difficult to change themselves. So it, it's good to, uh, you know, uh, so just to you know, tell you, in, in the product maturity cycle from a functional product, reliable, usable, pleasurable, you know, the design depth comes in between a certain stage. It's not about totally bad design product. It's, it's not about uh, you know, uh, something you haven't really started designing. So once you have some design in place, you started missing it, and then uh, you know, it's accumulated over time. It's, it's about the imperfections generated after a freshly designed project. So having a well-designed product is a prerequisite for design depth issues. Okay, when, when actually exploring this, I just, uh, you know, try to spot myself for some of the design issues and one of my friend's startups, I mean, a lot of, our colleagues and friends will have startups. I just looked at some of them. I just noticed this is from one screen. I have seen one rounded corner buttons, a button with soft edge, button with sharp edge. And it's, it's all about different personalities, right? I mean, so uh, I don't know. When, when you ask a designer to design or a developer to develop a new screen, they don't know how to, which one to follow. You know, it's, it's like you have taken the liberty to design the way you want. And you ignore, it's actually a live product. People are using it. And one thing I've noticed is when, when I, I would try to warn some of these product owners, they, they feel like, I'm getting business, things are working fine, then why should I? You know, it's actually, a, I'll tell you how difficult it is to tackle this later. I mean, so uh, what I would like to say is, maybe there is a big crowd 
who doesn't care about such things. But when you fix all this... I mean, so uh, what I would like to say is, oh, maybe there is a big crowd can hear who doesn't care about such things. <laughs> it's fix okay. All. Sorry. So, uh, that's good. You heard again. <laughs> okay. So, uh, you know, uh, so I... But okay. I feel when you make Sorry. your design so, perfect... Uh, that's good. You heard again. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. So... Uh, you Do know, you want me uh, to change the so mic? But I feel when you make your design perfect... Stream or a YouTube stream or a <laughs> it's exciting. Sorry. No, no problem. It happens. So, yeah. so uh, okay. So, you know... What I feel is they might be having some business and traction around it, but they may be missing a big audience who care about design, right? So it's not just like this thing. And, and there is one more thing I wanted to bring your notice. is like you make minimum viable products, right? Minimum viable product doesn't care about design so much. But if you actually forget about this at a later point of time, and then you just carry it with the minimum viable product to a lo lovable product, then there's a big problem. You have to be very careful about it. I just took our typical style guide to just let you know, you know how these small little things can make an impact. It's not very easy to you know, uh, take care about 27 pixel gap and these little pixels and ensure that you are programmed to uh, you know, take care of all these things unless you have a proper design system in place or proper component library in place because at bulk, you tend to skip all this. Okay, so, okay, these are there in general, but three things which I have noticed is, um, number one, as developers, as techies, we just ignore design, uh, you know, the little aspects of design. And we focus on our technical stuff. I think in India, uh, we are all techies more. We don't care about the users or the end customers, but just keep in mind, end customers value such things a lot. And the second thing is uh, project constraints. Yeah, I talked about it. And the third thing, which is more important, which happened to us, that's why we said from our trenches, you know, as designers, we miss some of the trends. We miss some of the insights that we are supposed to have it in the first place. And what happens with that is, uh, I mean, uh, I'll talk about one of our projects where it happened to our team. And as designers, I don't know, it, it should never happen. Okay, so I'll, I'll talk about that project a little later, but how to manage this? You know, uh, when you have sprints, when you have, uh, you know, uh, things, you make sure you have some time to fix all this design issues as part of new features, along with the new features that you plan, right? So make sure you have allotted some time and prioritize which is easily fixable and of high impact. And you can ignore which is like a low, you know, impactful and it's very tough ones. You can ignore it and do it later. Okay, so how to minimize it? One thing is, as a, as a pro company or as a product owner, there should be a push from the top to focus on the design. You know Airbnb and how other, some of the portal makes the difference, right? The owner itself is a designer. The founder itself is a designer. That makes a big difference that you, when you have a push from the top. And make sure you have a live design system in place. Otherwise, I told you about those mini small pixels. I don't think anyone can manage without a design system or a component library to take care of such small things. Then make sure they adhere to the process. You know, don't just do the way they like. Don't just leave. I mean, you know, make sure the design is part of the process. And do periodic reviews against the system. There is one more thing, against the system and against the trends. That's what happened to us. I mean, it's not like, you know, I'll just... Uh... Okay, so, uh, yeah, this is one of the screen uh, that we have delivered to our customer. The customer was a fintech customer who is into asset management portfolio and from US. And it's a long project that we have been doing, right? So, uh, people have been working on this project for a while. It's around one, one and a half years. We build the initial design and just continuing with the design. Till one point, one of our customer's customer sent an email to him. This looks like six-year-old design, four-year-old. It's, it's happened a while ago, okay? <laughs> okay? And do you 
guys can spot anything bad about this? Can you? This is a this is a responsive version, and this is a desktop version. Sorry. That's okay. Yeah, I agree. I mean, there are such things. Any any more? Hmm? White space. Good one. So, any big issues? Button space. You should want to write. Yeah, I agree. Okay. So. Okay. See, I, I agree to all of your points. That's what even our team will think about it. Definitely, when you think deeper, you will get different small stuffs. But just look at what we have come up after we realized the same screens when we redesigned. Okay, you can you tell us what we have missed in the first design? Can you even tell us what we have missed in the first design? Please. Hmm? There are actually a lot, right? A lot of difference. But there is a fundamental thing. There is something called conditional disclosure, progressive disclosure, which has taken up a big trend. Have you noticed our Google Groups uh, task screen? Have you noticed Google Groups task screen? When you create a new task, it's, it's a tiny, cute form that's coming up nowadays, right? So when you, when you want to do more about it, like when you want to assign someone, when you want to you know, uh, schedule a time, there are a lot of things to click here and there that will make the form complex. So the, the, the thing is, when you present the form with a lot of fields in first place, you know, everyone take a back seat to whether to complete it or not. But when you show them the minimum stuff they have to interact with, they will start filling in and when they look around, how do I assign you know, somebody, how do I assign a target date, then you have things around it. You can, you can always bring it up. So we have missed a trend because we have started this project before this trend started. And we had all the design system in place, design principles in place, design decisions were all taken well. But unfortunately, we have we missed the periodic reviews to look at the trend and you know refactor things in our design. So that's what happened to us. That is why we said it's a, it's a lesson learned from one of our trenches. And I think I finished it much earlier. <laughs> Thank you. It will help you to cover up the other, uh, you know. So any questions? I have five minutes on my yeah. That's right. That's right. Uh, and and I, I believe stakeholders do not feel the weight of it. It's only the people. I mean, limited to a few people who created something know that this debt exists. Mm -hmm. I think if you attach a dollar value to it. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I, in fact, uh, I like one of our earlier design courses, which I did. How how UX, uh, you know, people should prioritize. You should put a dollar value to everything that you are putting on as an effort. So you typically do this for new features, right? I think as you rightly said, for each design issue, you should put a dollar value and, you know, importance in terms of like, uh, you know, whether this, if this is fixed, will my product get more value? Just like your credit card, if these bills are overdue. Sorry? <laughs> is it just like your credit card bills? <laughs> These design debts are true, 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 true. So People just like you know, uh, yeah, any other debt, he, he feels that, yeah, that's a good idea. I think I'm done if somebody wants to take.